Hey y'all, what's up? It's Friday, so I'm gonna keep it black. But I'm gonna keep it brief. So another black person was senselessly murdered. Trump has finally been indicted, and I don't wanna talk about any of it. I am certain another creator has y'all covered on that front, and today, I just wanna get somebody their flowers. Mr. Tyler James Williams. We love you, black man. Ever since y'all kept calling him the boy from Everybody Hates Chris like he ain't never worked on another set in a day of his life, he been the man and y'all put some respect on his name purely through his sheer talent and award-worthy performance on Abbott Elementary. And we have been seeing him outside a lot more lately and he been putting that shit on. But y'all decide to resume the disrespect and call him gay because of the way he dresses and presents himself. And here's the thing. Gay isn't the insult. However, the way y'all are harping on his softer aesthetic, pointing out what you consider to be feminine traits, and using shame as a vehicle to challenge his masculinity and speculate on his sexuality is weird and problematic. And boy, did he let y'all have it. Bring in the roses! Instead of telling y'all to mind the business that pay you, he responded with sense. He said, I'm not gay, but I think the culture of trying to find some kind of hidden trait or behavior that a closeted person let slip is very dangerous. Overanalyzing someone's behavior in an attempt to catch him directly contributes to the anxiety a lot of queer and queer questions people feel when they fear living in their truth. And I don't know what's been chewing on y'all, but I know y'all ate up. Gathered the people so eloquently, they was in the comments like it was an Inspector Gaddis Anonymous. Talking about, I too used to look at men and try to get the gotcha before the gotcha got me. Girl! This frame of mind also emphasizes something my friend Obio said to me the other day. Listen to our podcast. Y'all think gay is a behavior. Goodness gracious. And really what you're sussing out is femininity, which doesn't necessarily inform somebody's sexuality. Sexual orientation, gender identity, and gender expression are all different. And yes, I know it can get a little confusing, for us straights, but taking the time to understand those differences can reduce the danger that Tyler was talking about, and we'll get right back to that in just a second. The human rights campaign defines sexual orientation as the inherent romantic or sexual attraction to other people. Gender identity refers to one's inner concept of self as male, female, a blend of both, or neither. How individuals perceive themselves and what they call themselves regardless of what they bits and parts talking about. And gender expression, stay with me now, is the external appearance of one's gender identity, usually expressed through behavior, clothing, body characteristics, or voice, and may or may not fit into the box of masculine or femininity that you think it should. And that's that on that. Now, what was so beautiful about Tyler's PSA was that instead of jumping into defense mode, he immediately used the moment to be an ally. Not for show, but for real. And besides Dwayne Wade, we don't see very many public-facing straight black men going to bat for black queer folk. And Tyler's not new to this. He's true to this. His two younger brothers came after him years ago, and you know what he did? He started reading books. <gasps> what? The man wanted to educate himself to be a better big brother. His brother Tyrell said not only did he start reading bell hooks, but also recommended that they all read it together so they could all learn together. <laughs> That's a good man, Savannah. He completely deconstructed his views on what masculinity looks like so he could be there for them unconditionally. And that's the thing. Y'all want so bad for somebody to be found out, pushed out of the closet, and into isolation and vulnerability, all for what? So you can be like, gotcha, bitch. What? And this is the danger he was getting at. This femphobia, also strangely tied to Eurocentric gender roles black people were never designed to uphold in the first place, is also tied to DL culture. And I think we can all agree that DL culture is harmful as it's a threat to everybody's sexual health, especially in the Bible Belt. The South alone takes up 51% of new cases of HIV every year, and black, gay, bisexual, and other men who have sex with men account for six out of every 10 of these new cases. That's nearly twice that of white and Hispanic or Latino men who have sex with men. And black women account for nearly 67% of them down here. Now, HIV is not the only risk factor implied here, but the reason DL culture persists in the harmful way that it does is because conversations that surround closeted black gay culture are nestled in shame and not in compassion. Just listen to If Only For One Night from the perspective of Luther being a closeted man. Bet money you'll never hear it the same again. And Tyler, the class act that he is, goes on to say that speculating on sexuality makes the most pedestrian of conversations and interactions and spaces feel less safe for our gay brothers and sisters and those who may be queer questioning. These folks might not never feel safe or supported coming out because y'all make it feel like such a hostile environment. And on top of that, just two days ago, the HRC declared a state of emergency for the first time in their history due to the more than 75 anti-LGBTQ plus laws that have passed this year alone, which include gender affirming care bans, bathroom bans, sports participation bans, LGBTQ erasure laws, Pronoun refusals and all that. The UCLA School of Law Williams Institute reported last year that LGBTQers are nine times more likely than non-LGBTQers to be victims of violent hate crimes. And even if queer folks weren't being targeted physically and politically, I absolutely refuse to let y'all forget about the social stigma that comes along with being outed. Because the shame don't stop at ah ha. It in fact contributes to the high rates of suicide within the LGBTQ community. So maybe think twice about studying the way somebody crossed their legs or the layer they blouse before fixing your fingers to start some mess. I don't know, maybe get outside and touch some grass.